All right, meet Barbara. She is a yoga instructor who looks pretty good for her age and looks pretty young. What's her secret? Well, we're going to find out. I'm 54 years old. I have three grown children, a grandbaby on the way like any day. She's ready to pop. Early in her life, Barbara became obsessed with exercise and began eating less. And about when I was 11 years old, I started exercising and calorie restricting. By the time I was a freshman in high school, I even had a little anorexic period where I lost a lot of hair, just eating little to nothing for quite some time. From that point, she continued having a poor relationship with food. Most of my life, I've calorie restricted, exercised excessively, binge eating is completely a part of my everyday yo-yo dieting for many years. and. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, five years ago, she began a vegan diet after seeing one of those persuasive videos about veganism. Became a vegan, started the vegan thing. I don't know what was the documentary, what the health, I should have looked that up. Anyway, watched one of those, was completely convinced that, oh my gosh, yeah, cannot eat animals anymore or animal products. So did that for about a year, lost some weight, lost a lot more hair. Uh, now, a lot of these videos, as you guys know, tug on the emotions, they use pretty much emotion-based arguments and very poorly misinterpreted science to convince people of the merits of that particular strategy. Now, how did Barbara enjoy her vegan diet? Let's take a look. But yeah, I remember visiting my daughter in Phoenix and she was taking me to these wonderful German restaurants and all these restaurants. And you talk about restrictive when you can't have meat at a German restaurant, <laughs> you're left with sauerkraut and, and what? It was terrible. <laughs> And the vegan diet was great for her health, provided all the nutrition she needed, right? I was feeling better in the beginning, and then I started losing my hair, like really thinning out my hair. So I got on biotin and then just a crap ton of other supplements that I literally took over 20 pills a day. I kid you not. And it was just an array because I listened to everything that you need to have when you're on this diet. And none of it clicked with me like, why do you need to be on all these supplements if you're getting everything that you need from your foods? Her diet also involved a very high carbohydrate intake, of course. But since a vegan diet is supposedly so nutritious, she must have felt very satisfied while eating it, right? Well, no, not really. Snacks throughout the day, healthy snacks, fruit or whatever, and then just come home and then just be so starving that I would if there's a half a bag of Doritos left, I'm finishing it off. If there's thin mint cookies, the Girl Scout cookies, they're gone. Barbara finally hit a point where she couldn't take it anymore and knew that it was time for a change. She decided to leave the vegan lifestyle and try a ketogenic diet. Well, how did that work for her? Let's take a look. I slowly transitioned to basically a high carb keto diet. So not even, I'm sure my carbs were still not even under a hundred per day. So I still had the high carb thing. And I don't start doing the fat bombs. You start doing the keto treats. And I was just a very dirty keto. So again, still, in my opinion, a standard American crap, atrocious diet is what I was still on, even with keto. And then still taking all of the supplements because I still was not feeling like myself at all. So clearly a keto diet provided more challenging for Barbara and she did not find the health that she was looking for. So she heard about fruit and honey. So how about that? At one point, I was listening to Dr. You know, Paul Saladino, and I started thinking, oh, maybe I need fruit. I'll add it back in some fruit and honey. That didn't work for me. That was just going right down that whole carb addiction path. If there was a whole bunch of grapes, I'm going to eat every single one of them. And that I knew that wasn't going to work. Barbara found a group of us that were promoting a carnivore diet. She began following that particular diet. Started going down the whole listening to all of the influencers on Instagram for sure. And then lots and lots more podcasts. I found Dr. Anthony Chafee and uh, Dr. Ken Berry. Of course, I was listening to your podcast. And that's when it all started coming together. And that only took a month or two to where actually her and I both at the same time pretty much started carnivore last June. So we're coming up on our year anniversary. She began to see many improvements in her health. All bloating and indigestion, GERD, anything like that, it's completely gone. So that right there felt amazing, but I'm like, oh, but can I stick to it? Of course, you're eating healthy. You're not eating crap anymore. Of course, your stomach's gonna feel flat. Of course, you're not going to... I would lay there in, in bed at night after eating like something I shouldn't have eaten, and then just your belly's churning, you can't sleep. So immediately digestive issues, then came better sleep, better sleep. And I was also experiencing night sweats at the time, going through perimenopause. So I lost the night sweats. 
slept better. Even her vision had improved. And this is interestingly something that many people adopting these styles of uh, eating often talk about vision actually getting better. Many people report that any addictions they have seem a lot easier to beat, and Barbara also noticed this as well. For me, the biggest thing was alcohol. That feeling that I needed that every day. As well, I was always be like, after my work was done, after everything was caught up in just like a reward at the end of a busy day. And I, I can still have a glass of wine or something. And I don't, so I don't know that I was a true alcoholic. I wouldn't even consider myself that. When somebody is drinking every day, I consider that somewhat a functioning addiction. Like many people, Barbara has learned that being free from food cravings can be a really transforming experience. This way of eating is the first time, like I do not fall back in the ditch ever. I may choose to someday have a piece of cake like you do sometimes, but I don't, I don't desire it. I don't have any problems with pushing the carbs away. And it's just been so freeing that the food freedom is huge for me. I'm just feeling better than I ever have in my entire life. <laughs> She's seeing big improvements in how well she can think and how calm she feels. And this is something a lot of people notice. They often call it a zero carb zen or a carnivore calm. Basically, as their energy levels sort of stabilize, so do their moods. And they generally report kind of just a general happiness, kind of a calm sense of happiness and well-being. Barbara was able to return to the exercise she loves. She does get some resistance about her diet from fellow vegan yogis. <laughs> a lot of yoga people reach out to me like, you're not a true yogi. That doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> Barbara knows that she's eating the diet her body needs. It is making her feel stronger too. She's also saving a ton of money on medications and supplements. And many people find that they're able to ditch all these extraneous supplements, medications, save themselves a lot of money, and the diet becomes much more affordable in that light. Her menopausal symptoms started to go away. I started having my periods again regularly, so yippee yay yay I was thinking that would be over. <laughs> but I have no PMS. I have no, I have no, um, no warning, no forewarning that this is going to be happening. It just happens. And, and I've suffered with severe menstrual pains throughout the years. Now again, I see a lot of women that talk about their monthly cycle dramatically improves by going on a carnivore diet, which is kind of interesting. Does Barbara miss vegetables and all the symptoms that she had? It's been almost a year and I don't miss any of it at all. And it's really bad though, because we had a, ve a vegetable and fruit tray this Mother's Day weekend. And I'm like looking at that, like it's poison. <laughs> like It's fruits and vegetables, it's not, they're eating it and I'm thinking. <gasps> well, here you have it. Another woman who has regained her health, strength, and even better control of her mind from following a carnivore diet. Thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to see a video we made about how a carnivore diet helps someone go from being bed bound to being an athlete, Check this one out here. All right, guys, see you next time.